is estimated that more than 15 million children worldwide have been orphaned by AIDS. Around 11.6 million of these children live in sub-Saharan Africa. In the KwaZulu-Natal province, one in five children are orphans. With these large numbers of people infected by the illness and too sick to work, likely to die, who teaches the children? Who looks after the children and elderly people? Who runs the business that fuel the economy of that part? It has a huge impact all around. The people who contract the illness and die are mostly between the ages of 15 and 30, and many of them have already had children. So increasingly we see uh, orphans, children left on their own to cope, looked after perhaps by their grandparents if they're lucky. In many cases not if their grandparents have also died, then they have no one to look after them at all. And it's not at all unusual to see uh, families effectively headed by children of 10, 12, 13 themselves. The Red Cross supplies the orphans with food, the medical treatment they need and access to school places, books and uniforms. As little as £39 can provide a child with a school uniform and books. Prevention work is really important. It's absolutely vital that young people in South Africa understand how they can avoid contracting the illness themselves. Now, as we all know, teenagers rarely listen to adults. So what we have done is to recruit a whole cohort of peer educators, young people themselves, young people who are prepared to go to schools, uh, talk to young people of a similar age, and help them to understand how they can avoid contracting the illness uh, themselves. This is no easy task. It means talking about sex, talking about condoms, talking about really embarrassing topics uh, with people of their own age. And they're prepared to do it in order to try and ensure that we can reduce the spread of this terrible illness. £54 will allow the Red Cross to train a young peer educator. Kids clubs are another initiative. These are places where young people can go to be themselves, to play together, to have a meal and learn about HIV and AIDS. £200 will provide the funds to set up one of these clubs. I think the Wellington Appeal has the potential to make a really big difference in South Africa for vulnerable people living with HIV and AIDS. I'm absolutely delighted about the launch of this appeal and I wish it the very best of luck. It really is going to save lives.